Hello you and welcome to some kind of fox content and welcome back to Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. First of all, let me just apologize for the latest episode, uh, the prior episode to this one. I didn't realize how long that got. I was just play I I knew it was long. I didn't realize it was that long. Um so hopefully this episode is going to be uh, not even half that length. But now to the big one. Look at me, I look all different. I I gotta admit, this is probably my least favorite design. I, I, this, this, I don't think this looks cool, but it's the best, uh, like, attribute for my build. Let me just show you what I've been doing here. So here's my build. Look at that. I changed the shirt. I changed the, uh... Here's the shirt. I changed the uh, sword. I changed the rifle. I didn't change the T. I changed the ring. I didn't change the brooch. I didn't change the wristband. And I changed the amulet. So so there you are. That's my uh, new build. Um, I only need to upgrade the amulet and the banisher T. And I think I need elite gem, no, nest silt and ethereal bone fragment. And I need actually only copper for that one. I might just check if there's one for sale here in the city. But before we get to that, um, yeah, this episode is going to be a little shorter. I had planned to get uh, go directly to Fort Jericho now, but just as I was about to do that, I, I wandered the world a little bit to get some resources for my upgrades. And now Ismail is ready with his little task here, so we're gonna do that first. Um, while I wandered around, I will say I did... Was it this one? There was one of these chests that I came by naturally on my path that I just checked, and it turned out I had the key for that. Um, but that's the only one I cleared, and I think I got, uh, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, I got, uh, not that. I got this shirt. Gunner battle gear. So if I want to use my rifle a lot, i probably put that one on. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have talked enough, and I need to, this episode to not be long, so without further ado, hello you, and welcome to some kind of fox content, and welcome back to Banishers. Ghosts of New Eden. Uh, it's just Lucy uh, Are you the one that has the uh, copper? What? Bog iron, magnetite, copper. I just need one. Thank you. I'll take my leave of. Have there we go, I don't need to talk to you. I just want the copper, so I can upgrade. So I can upgrade me tea! There we go. Do that. Do... Oh, the amulet. Oh, I thought I could upgrade my tea. Okay, well, there we go. And I need three nest silt for that. Ah, oh, we can get that easily. And then what did I need for this one? Nest silt. So I need six nest silt. And ethereal bone fragment. We'll come by that, I'm sure. I'm not gonna go out and uh, hit one of the uh, endless uh, thingy meddings just to get the nest silt. I'm sure we'll get nest silt naturally when we progress. And that's what we're gonna do in this one. I'm gonna focus on uh, progression. I'm not gonna get sidetracked too much. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do Ismail's, uh, Ismail's quest. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name. Um, yeah, that name among many uh, others. Um, and as soon as we've done his little thing here, we'll head straight to Fort Jericho, and then it's all gonna be about that one. Ismail, where are you? Hello. Can I have your quest out here? Uh, your quest and your chest. It was the chest that I really wanted, but give me your quest. God's good health to you, sir. And to you. And to you, Ishmael. And to that, you. Well. I believe you've taken over the store. Indeed, I have, sir. I am very busy. Life is very good. And now, sir, I will surprise you. I will ask you for a service. Uh, <laughs> anything for money. Well done, good sir. You'll ask me to help you. You will ask for help. 
Well, the tables have turned indeed. Well done, Mr. Law. You gave Mistress Walcott peace. Would you do the same for my oh, late absolutely. wife, Bess? Oh, absolutely. She deserves a final resting place. Absolutely. What kind of place do you have in mind? Bess loved the sand beneath her feet. She loved the sound of the sea. She loved to watch the sunrise. There is a hidden creek, only visible from the warehouse dock. I often thought of going there, but never found a way. How oh, is that one that was Besides, blocked for me? The region is still so dangerous. There are specters everywhere. It is a noble thought, Ishmael. No promises, but... Oh, I did okay, my anyway. promises. I promise, I promise. Absolutely, I'll see you later, I will. Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Absolutely. Okay, where are we going? Honoring the dead. Follow and... Ah, it's close by. Hi. Find the hidden creek. Okay, and I'm not gonna... Um, I could cut here and then uh, just be back once we get there. I'm gonna try to go away from that. I feel like that makes it incoherent even more. Especially on top of me just jumping from place to place. So I'm just gonna entertain you while we run to the Hidden Creek. Um, yeah, but as I said, this new shirt here, it's the best one in terms of attributes and my build. Not necessarily that I look fly. I think it's the, uh, the piss yellow. I think that's what does it for me. And it doesn't have any of the glowing things. I know, I know. Also, let me show you something. Uh, Antea came to play. Watch this. Oh no, I'm surrounded by enemies. Well, there they go. <laughs> yeah, uh, the ring I have on, uh, that uh, gives more damage to everything Antea does. And not only that, but I have also, I stemmed away from vitality. I think I put a lot of emphasis on that in the uh, previous build. Like everything had to be vitality. But then I realized, like, I never get hit, so what's the point of having, like, a big health bar? And I, I've i never used my flask. The only reason, the only uh, times I've drunken, drunken? I have sipped my tea, so to say, was by accident. So, I don't really need uh, vitality, so what I went for is wrath, strength, and willpower. Uh... Uh, wrath or willpower that will increase banish damage strength that is for melee damage and then wrath or willpower the other one um, that isn't uh, banish damage is uh, manifestation damage so those are the builds that I have focused on this time yeah see now we get to go down here I know where this creek is oh no enemies whatever shall I do Three, four, five. Oh! That specter's seen a corpse and it wasn't for its own. Yeah. Well, I'm too strong now. Oh, so now we can get there and we go there by jumping. Of course. Because in the last one I did get here and I was like, why can't I go in? How would I get here? And I thought I would get here by void. But it turns out we're getting here by jumping. Yeah. This is the place Ishmael wanted. Those rocks are in the way. Yeah, we'll fix that, but honestly, this is a good place. This is a bit secluded, it's peaceful, and it's uh, on the beach, as she wanted. That's not done. Let's go tell Ishmael. There we go. See? That was easy. Now we can go tell that to him. He's gonna be happy. His wife is gonna... Or at least his partner. I don't know if they were husband and wife. They will, uh, they will have peace. And that's what I, uh, I'm all about. I'm a banisher. I bring peace to people. And peace to ghosts. Mainly by leaving them in pieces. Yeah. And as soon as we've done that, we will uh, fast travel to Fort Jericho. And then we can finally, after like three or four episodes and like ten hours of gameplay, we'll get back to the main quest. I am very much looking forward to that. There were a bunch of places of interest in Fort Jericho, so I figure we're gonna get some uh, either nest silk or whatever else it was we needed for uh, the final upgrades. 
I'm way too powerful. I'm gonna ease through for Jericho. It's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be faced. Maybe I'll just have a little sip of my tea. Not because I need it, but just for, for the fact of it, right? Why did I go all the way up here? Did I need to? I don't think I needed to. Oh well, here we are. I'm coming, Ismail! Your beloved is finally at peace! Will I get paid for it? Probably not. But, you know... A hero doesn't work for pay, he works for the kindness of the heart or whatever the fuck people say. Ah, there we are. Also, I don't like my torch. The torch and the shirt. They could look better. Oh well. It's not about how you look, it's about the punches you pack. Ismail, I did it! And I think that takes care of every, like, uh, even, um... Stuff in my stuff, uh... What do you call it? Not quest. Hang on, what the f- what was it called? Objective! Um, at least for now, in the Harrows. I did it! What news do you bring? If bring it, you do. Oh, I'm the bringer of good news. I found your hidden creek. You were right. It is quiet and peaceful. A good place for a man to honor his wife's passing. I chased the spectres from it. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, don't mention it. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. <sighs> we got some XP. We got the the warmth in our heart, knowing that we honor the dead. Okay, speaking of warmth, let's go to the cold north. For Jericho, I'm finally gonna be back. And, uh, whoo, boy, do we have a lot of stuff to do up there. Don't worry, I won't let the episode drag out. But, uh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Not yet. Ah, uh, there we go. I uh, think everything is of interest of and for Jericho. Okay, let's get back there. Yes, finally back to the main story. There we go. Whoa! Jesus, pirate lady. But there are two huntings to be done down here. And also, I have an armory key for some reason. I have a key to an armory. Ah. Uh, why? Oh, I, I can't remember why I have that. See, that's the problem when you get out of my way. When you go back and forth like I do, you forget sort of what you were doing. I'm always stealing, so let's get back on track with that. Okay, armory key. Why do I have that and where is the armory and what can I steal from it is the main question. Hello! This is not an armory unless we're shooting garlic. Huh. Wait, shouldn't these be pointing up, up? Aren't these upside down? Doesn't that mean that all the good fortune is falling out of them? As far as I'm told. But then again, again, I'm not high on the uh, mythological stuff. Unless it's Greek. Greek? I like it. I... Ah, there we go. What the fuck am I doing up here? Want to get out into the wilderness. Start fighting some scurvy. Some scurvy specters. Display my newfound strength. That is this an armory? I don't think it is. War never changes. Uh, is there any good reason to start a war? Yes, says the king. No, says the widows. Who cares, said my military teachers, for we are soldiers, paid to fight, kill and die. Was there a way to avoid war with the Indians? Maybe. 
But there has been too much betrayal and too much blood spilled to ever settle peace again. We failed as a God-loving and rising nation. And I could be disposed for just writing this by people who never saw the dead bodies of the women and children, colonists and native alike, in the burnt ruins of their farms and villages at rainy dawns. I was among the soldiers who were sent to the bloody brook after the massacre to count the bodies. I was among those who fought at the great swamp fight of 1675, and I take no pride in this slaughter. My dreams are haunting me. I really hope this new command I took in this new Eden town here will keep me away from any new war I would be asked to win. Ah, well, you ain't gonna be fighting this war because it's against a freaking nightmare. Oh, there we go, military arsenal. Oh, we're stealing it. Is this an arsenal? Spiritual ward. Please don't be better than the one I have now. Damage taking is for it, but spirit put. Nah, nah, I don't care. I don't take damage. So that's fine. I'll keep me tea for now. Oh, sedasis. Ow. Glad no one's home. Could you imagine just a banish you dropping down out of nowhere? There's another Bible. The building is ramshackle. Access upstairs is restricted. Objects falling. I'm do Hey! Don't you make me into an object. I did fall, but it was intentional. Mr. Matthews, sir, I write in the hope that someday soon you shall receive this letter in which I inform you of the sad death of your son Elliot, killed in recent days upon the slopes of Mount Jericho. On a sortie into the wilds in search of ammunition, young Matthews and his comrades were beset by enemies. It pains me to tell you that they fell. Your son spoke of his family, by which I mean you, his father, and most particularly his dear sister, if I could say it, with whom he was close. Be both assured that Elia died a hero. Um, where are the... Don't be long. Thank you. Whichever records, reports, and other documents were transported from New Eden are now locked upstairs in the armory. For access, see me. I will already got access. Um... The store. Fernando's? Closed. Are we in the right place? Anyone home? No one. Papers no love lost. Name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. Investigate Fernando Miller's house. No love lost. What is this haunting? I'm just gonna check because I can't remember. It's the air. The attention drawn by her plaintive plea. The banishers met the ghost of Rebecca Hartgrave, who was oh, who was desperate to get to her lover, Fernando Miller. She asked the banishers to seek him out of his store in Fort Jericho. Right, this, this was the ghost we met out in the wilderness, and she was like, ah, Fernando, he hasn't visited me for a long time. I wonder why. He reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. What the? He's organized. The he's fuck organized do you mean he's organized? He money. This is neither by size nor color. And also, the books here, books there, and some books over there. Organized, my ass. Uh, here with remarked and confirmed that ownership of the store here, here tofu, tofu. Are we selling tofu? Known as the property of Mistress Rebecca Hartgrave now passes entirely and without encumbrance at all to Fern Ferdinando Miller, confirmed by the relevant legal authority, who, meaning me, to be registered as is required when circumstances permit. What have we here? Piece of wood carved in the form of an amulet, but not yet finished. Ew, what were we making amulets making for? Protective amulets. Protection. He's making useless trinkets. Oh well. And he works hard to keep it away. All right. What is he afraid of? What is he afraid of? What don't we know? I think he's afraid of. 
maybe something she would see. Maybe he found another one and he's like, ah, the, uh, Rebecca can't see this. Or maybe she is the one keeping something hidden Spectral and she's the dangerous one. His bed. Rebecca, I presume. This may explain the wreath. Yeah. What was this? A oh! sansa. It's a musical instrument. It's Bantu from Southern Africa. Now hang on, I'll give give me a minute here. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I'm returning. I'm returning. I'm back. Okay. Listen here. Okay, I, I don't know how to play it that good yet, but but I have one of these. I actually have two. Yeah, there's some lore for you. Still trying to figure out myself. I can't... I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, find a way into Ferdinand. Oh, we, we aren't in the store. Oh. Feck! Another one that's closed. Um, oh, we aren't in the store yet. That's the wrong one. There we go. Uh, but how, how does man pass? What the hell? Stock to trade. He hasn't unpacked it. Maybe he intends to move on. And who could blame him? Oh, maybe he... Do okay, okay. I know I'm blowing out theories of why he doesn't want her here. Maybe Fer Ferdinando here doesn't want to be a store owner and Rebecca's like, I give you my store, you better like it. And he's like, ah, how do I tell her? <gasps> Fuck! Just give me the treasure! I work so hard! Just give it to me. Hello? Surprisingly high quality wares. Can't be many left in New Eden with the means to buy. Hmm. Uh, Ingersoll's shop, blacksmith, Ingersoll's shop, blacksmith. Rebecca's calligraphy kit. Ooh. He's doing surprisingly well for himself. Where did he get the inventory? I, Mistress Rebecca Hotgrave, in the town of New Eden, being of sound mind and firm intention. Oh, that... Isn't that usually a bad thing when they write that? Because it seems like someone told them, it's like, oh, say that you're sane. Bequeath to Ferdinando Miller in the eventuality of my death, my entire estate, including but not limited to the following items. Ah. Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him a lot. That's where he got the inventory. No. The list matches his sales record. Oh, he Switch sold her shit? And I'll drop you. What are you doing here? Thieving? Okay, no listen. Doubt. I know I've been doing that a lot. I'm no I didn't thief, yet. Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a banisher of ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. Oh, you want me to get rid of her? Ah, uh, see. Well, that is technically what I'm working on, but. I spoke to Rebecca. Tis she who haunts you. She sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. Ah, uh, Hogshite? Why was she lying? You inherited her estate. Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job oh, to get rid of Oh, she pissed him off somehow because he's very work? keen on getting rid of her. Easy, Mr. Miller. Now. I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down. Yeah, he In just got rid of it. Read it, if you wish. Two recent sales to the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. Hmm, okay. She, she did something where he's like, nope, 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 get out of here. 
You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say-so. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. Not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty, though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. Ah, the visits in your sleep. Yes, the visits in my sleep. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. Oh, she's a succubus. Now it all makes I'll sense. Pay you. I need a job. Now finally, I'm getting paid too. This is all good. What wares do you have? Your stuff looks good. Let's trade. Now, my friend, we are conversing. I okay. I hope for trinkets. Ah, uh, I don't care about the word around here. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. You know where to find me. If you're buying, I'm selling. Yeah, but. <laughs> How about you start selling, and then I'll buy instead of just... I have some thread and this wolf pelt. What do you expect? He'd sold it all. Everything she'd owned. Yeah, he and got fast. rid of her. Question is why? Why the hurry? Mm, why the hurry? If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta talk to the things. Speaking of talking to things... Yoink. My sweet Ethel, I have little time to write and I do not know if you shall ever read this letter. We are besieged and what attacks us is that ain't human. Did that come? Our men die and our ammunition runs low. Pray for us. Tea! If that's his blood, does that technically count as spilling the tea? No, no. Be mature. People died. It's not good. That's locked. There must be a key. Crap, I need another key. Always with the keys. But there's treasure right there. I can squeeze through. Oh, fine. Hello! Now, Mr. Peabody, I shall drain the first boil. Ready? Same sudding question uh. every sudding time. No, I'm not done well ready. Excellent. Then we'll begin. Be careful, uh -huh. damn it! Careful! I know. I know. I can't. Uh, if we're popping sits in here and boils, I'd rather not talk to you. You better wash your hands before you come near me. All those cyst fingers. Hi, how you doing? Not too well, I suppose. Oh, there Holy you. moly. Queen Mary Stuart. Well, I've met Mary the Second, and she's a little prettier than I. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. <sighs> the Punisher come to gloat at sick old cotton bee body. Well, piss off. There's a sudden stink of death in here, Scotsman, and it ain't from me. So, uh, so where did you fight? Where did you fight, soldier? None of your business, Scotsman. Oh. This comrade is mine. No one wants to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, soldier, you're a brawler and a rebel. And if you fought at all, I'll wager you lost. I'm a proper soldier, me. Self-made, too. Left the family farm and signed up to fight them Indians. I learned the hard way, in the blood and the snow. Fought under the captain himself, I did. And followed him here and joined the train band. When did you get sick? What's it to you? I'm not so sick as I can't give some nosy Scotsman what for. <laughs> When I'm sick, I get sunly too. Let's just leave this guy. As you were, Mr. Peabody. See about. Not like I can go anywhere anyways. Ah. Have you washed your hands yet? Of the boil fingers? Uh, I just stole that right in front of you. I'm so sorry. I even reached through you. Oh, I'm the one who needs to wash my hands. That, was, that, that wasn't nice. Raspberry bush root heals dysentery, possible also causes it. Whoops. 
Do I add one week more to it with a, with a sharp flavor with a pale yellow liquid? Not pale brown! If you get the brown liquid, you're draining the No! No! Keep it mature. <laughs> uh, Simi... Simikfuga. Right, you're speaking in tongues. Rumor of epidemic in the mines in the mountains. I am forbidden to go. I am vexed. I learned today that oil of wintergreen may ease the king's evil. I pray I shall never need it. Hmm. Okay, what do we need to talk about here? My apologies. I did not wish to hush you. I just prefer to focus on one patient at a time. Wait, you hushed me? Welcome to the infirmary. I'm Nurse Wings. Anne, if it sets you at ease. I'm a banisher. Name's Macraith, but you may call me Red. Red. A pleasure to see a friendly face. Or any face at all. What can I do for you? Yeah, because the guy out there hardly had one. No! No! So, how'd you end up here? What brought you to nursing? That, sir, it's a personal question. I'm a personable man. And I'm asking That's a person? Thing. So? I was sick as a child. Very sick. Afterwards, I swore I'd serve others when they were sick. And here I am. What about you? Seems like you'll be serving that guy for a long time. No! No, no, no! Hey, hey, hey! I was... Well, I was haunted. Someone cared for me. Saved me from my ghosts. Now I do the same. A fine story. Oh, not bore you with more. Times being as they are, how come you only have the one patient? Mr. Peabody's illness is unsightly. Fort Jericho has a history of contagion. Folk worry. Mm. Did you not fear infection? If I did, I would not show it. What does he have? Not my place to say. You'll have to ask him yourself. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. All right. I'll not press you. It's not like I'm gonna go out there and French kiss him. I think I'll be fine. What's the word around here? No, I don't see folk much. I stay here, keep to myself. No visitors? No other patients? Helen Preece comes when she can. Oh! Captain Pennington would sometimes visit Mr. Peabody, but I haven't seen him in a while now. With the Helen and the whatnot. It, it's going to be interesting again. We, we talked about this the last time I was here. It seems like people are okay with Captain Pennington here. Or I think one person spoke well of Helen, and the rest was like, ah, I don't like her. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He fought King Philip and the Wampanoag. Led his company well, I'm told. It's not for me to like or dislike him, unpleasant though he may be. Oh, that's a, that's a good stance to have. Who are we to judge? Tell me about Helen Priest. The bold lieutenant's widow. He's dead some years now, and she's not remarried. She's as much a soldier as her husband was. A fighter. Commanding, too. Even dead, you can see his influence in her bearing. I think I know how that feels. What about you? How do you feel? Oh, I'm alive and well. I'll not complain. I can be strong for those less fortunate. You're a good soul, Nurse Wings. Oh. I do my best, Mr. McCraith. I'm sure you do yours. Farewell, Nurse Wings. Farewell, and good health, sir. I can see she didn't wish that upon you. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, di I didn't mean that. I'm gonna go now. You keep a straight face. I mean... Fuck. Oh, it's a, it's a wave. I thought that was the front of it. I was like, is this a cannon? Ah... Huh. Uh. There is still something for me to find here. Oh yeah, I need to go talk to the shop owner about why they got his stuff in there. Ah, cauldron witch! 
How often, Abigail, must we have this fight? How often must we argue? Hey, 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 no I pushing here. I until you hear me. I hear you all too well. I hear a hoggish harridan, a narrow knack, a selfish shrew. You aren't even looking at her. I shall poison you. But why are you keeping eye contact before, with me? That's so fucking I'll take weird. You to the highest cliff and push you off it. Ah. Hi, you seem like a happy jolly fella. You're new. From where have you sprung? Name's Red McRae. A banisher, come from across the deep blue sea. You look a landlubber to me. You should feel right at home. John Rumble. Are you a married man, John? Aye, to Abigail. I count myself lucky. Are you married yourself, Mr. McGrave? Married, married to my job. Well, I suppose you could have called us man and wife. No, you could not. Shh. Marriage is a union. I'm trying to impress him. Men are fallible. And that man in there is falling apart. <laughs> no. Aye. Our feelings exactly. We were happy. Why ruin it and live to regret it? Regret? Oh, I have no regrets. She's a fine woman, my wife. Finer than likes of me deserves. I don't say a word against her. Uh, no, you no, were no. saying a word to her. May you prosper in good health, John. He that does good is of God. Where does she go? Hello? Why are you leaving with him? What the hell? Whole, the whole fort is going crazy. Uh, I can't go in there. I need to talk to someone about something. About purchases <laughs> made. And why they were made. This is the captain's dwelling. I don't need to go in there. Ah, uh, I need to go to talk to the shop. Boy, man, woman, per people down there. That's what. That's where they hang people. I'll move on. Hello. You have bought things, and I come to inquire about said things. Banisher. But first, let me see what you have. Do Shall you have trade? trinkets? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? Mm, nope. Ferdinando Miller sold you a few things recently, right? May I have a look? You may, yes. Though I doubt they'd be much use to you. Unless you've got a knack for art. Mr. Miller mostly sold me paintings. You can't miss them, they're the only ones I have. Okay. I must take my leave. Thank you for your visit. Do come again. Okay, so, so, oh, so this down here. Hey, 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 hey! I was in admiring your uh, the purchased art here. Pretty. The work, I mean. <laughs> okay. Not our ghost die, though. Let's try the forge. Okay, she didn't catch on to that. I was about to be uh, a ghost list here. Ah, uh, something in here and I can no. Okay. So up here. Hello. Oh, you're the yeah yeah yeah. You're not the one I'm looking for. A note. Let's see. Joseph, I received the things you owed me. They're good. I thought you a liar. It seems you are not. Rebecca Slay... Oh. Oh, boy. Was not satisfied with his dead mistress fortune by penitent order. He's a free man now. And a merchant, merchant to boot. This shite shall be the end of us. Mark, mark me. Oh, so... Maybe that's why he want to get rid of her, because he was, you know... Uh. Anyways, we are quits, you and I, until next we shuffle cards in the barracks with the men. I'll f fleece you once then... I'll fleece you then once more. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. Yeah, she kept she that kept one quiet. That quiet. As if it were of no consequence. We know where to go. 
the barrack room. Yeah, okay. Hello, people playing cards in here. Okay, so there's one thing over there. Have I checked this? I feel like I haven't. Let's just have a little snoop here. Can I check this? No. My dearest Cotton, I know it's been a long time and I know you asked me not to write to you anymore, but you broke my heart the day you asked me to stop contacting you. I shall try one last time. We know how that works. If they say, please leave me alone, then the best thing to do is just to spam them. Don't do that, please. I'm sorry to learn about your health. Oh, it's that guy. And I hope you'll recover soon. That thing happening if it is. Errol and I have a little girl. I, then why the fuck are you talking to this girl about being lovers or whatever? Am I understanding this right? I don't know. I know you never accepted my love for him, but we are happily married. We named our child Mary. Like our beloved grandmother, we live in a beautiful little house. We have a cow and seven chickens. Uh, and Errol has found work as a bla blacksmith. Ha! Huh? Errol has found work as blacksmith. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, so I, I got that completely wrong. This, this isn't a flirty message. It is not an easy life, but we have food on our table and fire in our heart. I feel happy and loved, and I would like you to feel the same. I'll try to send you some more money until we hear from you. You worried sister, Waverly. God, I got that message all wrong. Almost as wrong as that guy's face. <laughs> no, no, be, be, hey, hey. Was this the one I just read? Yeah, God, I'm dumb. Hang on, where's the other one? There was one more. There we go. There's two more. Sickness of a soul. Oh, more about that guy. Uh, sh no! God, stop! Shadows start to sing. The sky is falling. The day turns into night. The specters are at my door. I hear them clawing at the gates. I can run, but I know I'll never escape. The shadows are my friends. I hear them calling out my name. I'm living. I'm a living shell with no soul, just a ghost haunting his own house. I walk towards death, breathing my last breath. Mother used to say, death is only a horizon. I used to be afraid, but now I'm ready for my sun to set. Oh, that's quite beautiful. My sweet Ethel, some of my comrades are sick. I can do nothing for them, screaming, screamish as I am. Matthew spent the night at the nurse's side, carrying spew in buckets. A good man, though he speaks little. I am cold, I am hungry, I am tired, and there's fighting yet to do. Your Talbot. That quill. Ben, that's what we're looking for. I was getting to it. Wait, who's talking? John? Hello? Huh? With the death of Pirate Foraberry, according to Foraberry's wishes and to award his military exploits during the Battle of Bloody Brooks, Teddy the Shadow is appointed to be the owner of Foraberry's late properties, including his rifle. May the Shadow carry this fine gun with honor. Who the? I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Yeah, and I'm I'm hearing it. I only recognize my name in the list. Distant family, but I can't disinherit them. I would never ask you that. To have met you is already more than I ever expected. But this seems like he's happy about it. to lose you. God forbid. I cherish all that reminds Okay, now me it doesn't you. make sense at all, because he did the opposite. If you were to lose me, all that I own would now be yours. Hmm. He claimed not to love her. Why lie? I mean, she didn't tell that he was a, you know, slave, and then maybe he loved her once. Oh. Maybe he did once, and now he doesn't. Let's see what he has to say about it. And he didn't tell that they were lovers, or at least... Uh, 
Wait, no, no, did he pretend to love her to get her shit? Who is this Jan that keeps talking? I have so many theories of what could have been. I think I need to stop making those. Dude, I could hear you all the way in the barracks. Calm your tits. Dreams. How much respect does that get you, eh? Go to hell. Take your captain with you. Oh dear, we found another one that doesn't like the captain. Hi, I haven't met husband. you yet. He really is as unpleasant as he sounds. And who are you then? At Red McCraith, ma'am. I'm a banisher. Friendly neighborhood banisher. Are you indeed? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Banisher. I'm Abigail of Rumble. Thanks to you, me and my husband should soon be able to go back to our mountains. Oh, you sound happy about it. You and your husband prefer an isolated life outside the fort. I have a roof above my head. My belly is rarely empty. And I live by my beliefs. We suffered for many years. By comparison, this is bliss. Do not find it dangerous out here. Just the two of you alone. I thank you for your concern, but we live how we live, and it makes us quite contented. Your husband won't mind us talking. No. Why would he? We are faithful and trustworthy. As, I'm sure, are you. She doubts your intentions. Hey, 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 You hey. need to worry about me, ma'am. I'm spoken for. Exactly. Good. We understand one another. My husband and I are very close. Very close. Sounds indeed. like you're close to a divorce. Then you have my admiration. Sustaining such closeness takes much tolerance and hard work. You don't know how good you've got it. I'll let you get back to your day, madam. If you need anything, feel free to ask. Yeah, but I'm asking because I want to, not because of flirting on something. I'm spoken for. You you can't see her, but I, I swear she's real. She's right there, right in front of you. She's... Ah, okay. Huh. I guess this isn't the town where I'll be liked either. Where the feck am I going? Ferdinando! I have questions. Oh, there you are. Banisher? Ah, uh, okay, let's start with you. I found papers, official papers. They tell quite the story. That's all in the past, for the good of my future. But you may as well hear it from me. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hargrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. Uh, were you a little romantic. bit more than that, maybe? If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die too. Oh, I think there was something about like if quote unquote owner died, then mm, also got, you know, <laughs> at least I think there was a thing for the Vikings. If they had thralls, then, you know, they would disperse. Rebecca was in love with you. Feeling was not mutual. True. I'm interested in this I was one. Her pet, a dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. So she he loved did me, fake it. She said, "I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy." You gulled her, then took advantage. To a slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have done no different, and I do the same again. Enough chitter-chatter. Perhaps you should get back to work. What am I paying you for? I'm a banisher, Mr. Miller. Not a rat catcher. Ghosts were human. They're emotional. Full of hopes and fears about the past and the future, too. To find out what ties the ghost to the living and end the haunting, I must know the story. You want me to finish the job, then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. 
This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch and let's get it over with. Let's rip off the band-aid here. But uh, they, uh, they, one of my theories actually were true. No choice remains. Let it be done. And I'll be done with it. Oh, oh, there you are. You're here Step no closer. I, yeah, this ain't gonna be pretty. Are you not, not glad to see me? No, Punisher. End this. Uh, not now. Hi. You need to hear the truth, both of you. That reminds me. Rebecca, you omitted to tell us that Ferdinando was your slave. That you owned him. I loved him. I was a slave. I was not free to leave you. What kind of love is that? What are you saying? We loved each other. Love? <laughs> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you were a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I loved you, and you loved me. It was but a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a guarantee. I needed a guarantee. You don't know what love is. You know only fear. You fear being undesired, being unnoticed, being alone. I don't think it's possible to side-eye as much as he's doing right now. Time to give this love story an ending. Rebecca Hardgrave, your love for Fadi Miller is sincere but unwanted. You're hurting him. Let him go. Is it wrong to wish to spend your life with the man you love? You did spend your life with him. Now your life is over. Oh, harsh realities he are being lying. dropped on this ghost right now. I want to keep him. Was I wrong? You don't own him. You can't own exactly. him. Exactly. Let go. Find peace. Peace? She gets peace? After all she did? I get peace, but you get your freedom. I was wrong. I'm sorry, Fadi. For everything. You have been here. She deserves no peace. She put me through hell. You don't care, Banisher. Just one more mad master in a madder world. I'm not... Listen. Listen, my man. I'm not saying what she did was good. I'm not saying that. So, though... I'm gonna go now, because I'm in ill faith with another store owner. Fuck, I'm gonna be paying triple for buying anything anywhere I just want to bring closure I did uh, oh. we need the money we have enough leave me alone oh my god you think only of yourself uh, okay so that didn't go as planned um I mean they were both not in the best interests right I'm not saying what she did was good but but, but he was also kind of rude about it. I, this is why I'm not given moral choices. You know what? I think it is time. We are just about halfway in the episode. I have a haunting here. Could try to find that quickly. It, it's basically right here where I am. Hello? Up here? Um... But after that, I think I'm going to head out into the wilderness and start working on some of the uh, question marks out there. I don't think I need to talk to more people. 
I think I've done enough damage already. Um, so get me out there, get me do some damage to some ghost instead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi. How can I hurt your feelings today? You've saved our sorry asses, sir. Of that, there is no doubt. You learned us At least I'll be in good rest. standing with your arse, then. And that comes most welcome. This ain't going well. You're right, soldier. You look drop dead weedy. The dead don't sleep, do they? And me being asleep won't stop them coming. Can no one take your shift? We're short-handed as it is. Besides, I can rest and keep watch at the same time. Old soldier trick. Oh, what's, what's going on in Helm? Oh, Bush, I say. What's going on? Oh, what do you care? I have my problems and you have yours, so let me... You know what, I'm inclined self. to take you up on that offer because important. it seems like I every time I try no to help. solve a problem, I cause it's even more. Helping me anyway. You heard the man. He wants no help. I see no reason to force it on him. For now, at least. Uh, how are folks doing? How are folk doing? How much did I, I mess up here? Well, they're farmers, most of them. Shopkeepers, house servants, hunters. We've one old soldier, but he's sick. Them who stand, stand dead on their feet. Fighting fit, my arse. But we hold against the hordes of the dead. And now, leastways, the fight's not fair, is it? Uh Ah You know what, screw it, let's hurt some more feelings. Life's unfair. I'm not. Right, I used to think that too. Mind you, I'm not sure there's enough armor left. I think I'm just gonna leave now. As you were, soldier. Great! I think I probably pissed off every single resident in this fort. All I wanted to do was help. Old soldier and all. All right. Let's start with this billet. You can slow it down. Huh. Okay. Listen. I need to get out here. As I said, I've hurt enough feelings. Let's start hurting some ghosties. And there are plenty of question marks to choose from. So, let's just start from one end here. There's one right there. Hello. Oh, it's a cursed one. Shit. Well, it's good, because I get more stuff, but... I'm just really struggling to find these things by now. Wait. What the? Oh, there's one of them. Okay, cool. The navigator. Yeah, if only I could navigate feelings! I wouldn't Something be in ill standing with this. every single person. God, I'm horrible at moral choices. Okay, I need two more. I felt like I hurt something. Ah, feelings. No, no. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's another way in. Ah. Uh, whoops, wrong button. But down there, that's... What the heck is going on over here? That's a lot of stuff. Ah. Uh, there, there. Let's work on this area down here. And then we can go over here and then work our way up. And then we'll be back at the main quest. I'm coming, question mark. Hopefully we can find the uh, figurines we need while we do this. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. 
Okay, this should be a point of interest in here. And we're back into the wilderness. Far away from people, which I think is good for now. What the hell? Who whispered in my ear? Uh, what have we down here? I know this isn't the way to the question mark, but... Found some magnets it. Well, now I'm getting further away from the, uh, question mark. Could this be what's drawn on the map? Oh, treasure. Treasure? Th oh no, enemies. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> nice knowing you. God and Tia checked in to fight. I can hear the wow, wow, wow thing. on the other side of that fence. Really? Really? We we dug down a treasure on top of a grave? Don't dig too far. We'll dig up the dead. There we go. That's a lot of pieces of eight. And I nestled. Yes! I think I needed that for some upgrades. See? It's perfect. And then... Over here and then to the right? Right? Oh, this is one big graveyard. Uh, seems like these folks lost a lot of good men to the war. In loving memory of brothers fallen in the fight for freedom forever in your depth. I'm not gonna ask what fight that is. I'm just gonna take your word for it. Let's not start defining freedom around here. That's a whole can of whoop ass. I'm not ready to open right now. Poo! I'm ready to open that, however. Is it in here? The point of interest? Seems like I'm getting closer to it. What the? This whole map is speaking to me at the moment. Okay, what are we having? Oh no. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, you survived that. Survived this time. Bye bye. I'm hardly using red anymore. Oh, the fort actually looks cool uh, from here. Okay, totem time. Make me even stronger, please. Go. Oh, I needed the bone fragments too. This is perfect. I'm getting all the things I need. And that bridge isn't broken. Jolly good time I'm having here. Okay, next one. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm clearing the map. I'm following the track. I'm making people mad. Okay, what's the next point here? I'm gonna guess a manifestation nest? Oh, there you are! <laughs> you, have to, you have to say that every time you shoot the rifle, otherwise it doesn't work. How will you know you've been shot if, this, if, it, if you didn't hear the pew pew? Check up here first. I know you're down there. Hi, would you like to spawn in before I banish you to hell? <laughs> Shit. 
she is so powerful right now and I'm loving it. Benjamin and Ethel Bly. Oh, Here that's the Ethel. The bodies of Ethel and Benjamin Bly. Nice gravestone. Must have been wealthy. fight down here and uh, it's an endless one. Anything else down here I want? Nah. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. And get a plus one to attributes? Don't mind if I yes. Reveal yourself! Okay, you're a shooter. Boom. 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 There's more of them. I'm a shooter too! Ow. Ow, hang on. A little bit of outburst in your face. A little bit of banishment to your taste. Ow. Oh, I ran out of banishment. That's not good. You ran out of health. That's even worse. There we go. Hi there. I timed that well. Don't even fool me. There we go. Ask for help. <laughs> Now, let me reload here. And now we cheese it. Just because I can. Oops, I missed. Hi. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, don't want to do it again. Uh, elite gem. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. If this is an elite gem, Endless. Hang on just a second here. Did I not? Nope. Did I not? Nope. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, I should have upgraded when I was... Oh, I didn't get the nacelle before now. What am I talking about? What I am talking about is clearing the map. That's another question mark done. Uh, we're going to now one of these two. Let's do this one. Ah, it's up there. Well, how would I ever reach that then? Or does that even make sense? Wait, actually, how can I get up here? No. Ah. Uh, Shouldn't I be able to behind me and then to the Oh there you <laughs> We are actually making quick work of the question marks. Maybe we can clear them all in uh, this one episode. And don't worry, I won't make it too long. I don't know why I clicked that. Maybe to drag out time to make the episode longer. <laughs> Uh, uh, nope. Oh, I'll pick a flower. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, oh, the bird on the bridge. How fair you. Also, what have we here? What is this all about? They knew Eden Town, that's for sure. Was this where I came from? And then I ran up? I think it was. Now, how would I get to that, you know? 
We drop down. No. I feel like this is the only way I can go. Yep. There we go. Uh, let me just see here. If I go... I already did that one. So technically I should go this one and I can get a... Oh. Wait, where did I go? How did I end up all the way down here? I was supposed to be... Whoops. Oh, well, we'll do the yellow uh, question mark. Yeah, and see, it does a, when I do a leap, because I upgraded the, um, I evolved, so to say, I got one that, um, whenever I do a leap, it does a, uh, splash damage, kind of area of effect kind of deal. Oh, there's a jump there. And avoid. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be back. It's just, I don't... Have I been here? Well, now I'm all sorts of confused. It's just, whenever I take the void, I end up in weird places. Is this not it? So if I take this... Now I think I can get to the other question marks, right? I don't want to go there yet. Let me check first. I've been fooled before. No, this just brings me back to this. I am so lost. Wait, why is there glow up there? Hang on, what are we hiding here? Hang on just a second here. Hello there. Okay, I guess we'll do the void and then we'll just see where we end up. What is there up here? Oh, it's the jump you keep telling me about. Oops, one button, sorry, sorry. Yep, and then this way, and a uh, heal. Let's fight some sorrow. Oh, there we are. Still got like half an hour. Ready to walk through it if you are. Well, are you ever where, ready for jumping into a freaking void? How do you even ready yourself for that? Ah, it's an endless, okay. Ah, void traveling. Ah, I used the spectral bone thingy. I'm not supposed to, I need that. Okie dokie, let's make short work out of this. Wouldn't it be cool if there was no gravity in the void? Oh no, whatever shall I do? Ah, wrong button. Ow! Not you. I was waiting for the other one to attack. Okay, fine. I'll just do it my own way. Red. They never learn, do they? Wow! Hey, guy. Hey, I was I was with the thing of doing. I was just a second away. Dodge it, you can't. Dodge it? What are you talking about? Ow, that guy apparently. <laughs> I got some bone fragment, thank you. I need to restock now. Stop him! 
bastard. Hi. I didn't know there were so many of you. Hang on. That guy. Also, you are pissing me off. Ow. Hello, have you heard about banishing? That's kind of what to do around here. Oh, you think so? Hang on. <laughs> Concretions of dust, I need the bone fragments. Probably gonna have to uh, buy them. No, we ain't buying them. Getting them naturally. I say as I run in an endless void. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing natural around here. Okay, there's a lot of jumping, it seems. Up with that. No, this isn't good. Okay. Are you good? Mark. And now. There we go. Sorrow. Nice. Oh, this is actually perfect. Now I can hit two of them at the same time. One down. Go. Now the others. Ah. I don't know what I clicked, but I clicked it. Time to release these poor souls. Yeah. Now the question is, where the fuck do we pop up? Kansas anymore, that's for sure. That rock right there is just floating. We're still in the void. Ooh, executioner. Wisdom and persistence. Eh, nah. We're fine. Was a lost, but well, we're fine. As soon as we get to a fire, I am gonna look into upgrading even further. Okay, let's just figure out where we are. Well, all the way back here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab this, and then we're gonna head back to Fort Jericho. With the question marks and the whatnot. Mr. Fight. 
Also, there's still this web here that I can't do anything about. I wonder when I'll get that. Probably close to endgame. Maybe in Boston. Who knows? Please tell me I didn't use the bone fragments or something that I needed for the upgrade, right? I'm not going to go back and buy them. We are going to get them naturally. Please? I can upgrade something. That's good. Upgrade my uh, me amulet here. Perfect. That's all full now. The only one that isn't full is this. What do I need? More bone fragment and a shit ton of net silt. Cool. Okay. For Jericho, I am coming back. Uh, should I go here instead? Hang on, let me actually check this. We still have like 30 minutes. Or 40 minutes, actually, before I need to end the episode. Uh, if I... Uh, will I come out here, or do I have to go all the way there, and then with the DSM, and then... Whoa, huh? Find Andrew's bunk in the barracks. Well, hang on just a second here. Let's do, Let's go back and do that. Then we'll go back out into the wilderness and we will do the uh, some more question marks. If we don't count in people's feelings, this episode is going pretty well. I'm making some good progress. If we are counting in people's feelings, um, let's just say the upgrade made me do a lot more damage. Oh, you already won the uh, objective. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Barracks, those are up here. Right. Uh, Andrew's things. Where are you? Ah, uh, probably this one. Ah, uh, my dearest cotton, I know it's been a long time. Banisher Rule 92. By a man's things shall you know him. I think you've made that one up. Yeah, it's a good one. In honor of the bravery of Andrew uh, White, King Philip's War, 1678. God bless the king. Mm, reward. Give him to a brave soldier. I believe we found Andrew's things. Uh, to Private Andrew of the Massachusetts Militia under the orders of L. Pennington. Why, bearing in mind your recent endeavor on the battlefield on the advice of your lieutenant, you are promoted to a role of co commensurate with your skills. Um, henceforth, you shall be recruiting sergeant responsible for ensuring the replenishment of our forces with well-trained men, initially to camp at Haverhill. Addendum, as we discussed, your health deteriorates and the incident has not helped. You are a good man. Or what is the incident? This is our best lead yet. Maybe we missed something in the infirmary. Maybe. After that, we might look for his train band record. Okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're still not well? Hmm. What am I looking for? Need to talk Mr. to Mr. McGrath. A good. Nope. Farewell. Farewell. I need to talk to you. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? And if my eyes weren't sore before, they are now. You don't get many visitors, do you? Hmm. <laughs> Aye, and I like it that way. Nope, I didn't need to talk to As you. you were. No. Nope. I need to do this? Leave? What? Ha! Huh? You said we left something at the infirmary. I'm here. Nothing's been left. Oh. Ah! Uh, investigate the infirmary. Yes. Oh, there we are. 
Now it's about the patient. A uh, very anxious skips meal. The departure of the children from New Eden and thus of Private uh, White's family has caused him terrible insomnia. Patient gradually re- regains sleep. The mixture of certain herbs seems to help a little with sleep. What are those? I want that. Fewer nightmares. The patient is however more anxious. He does not want to talk about the man he sees in his dreams. Spend some nights in the infirmary. He starts to be affected by dementia. However, this does not last more than half an hour. The patient has calmed down but still lacks sleep. However, he speaks of shadows and figures appearing sometimes at night when he is not sleeping. The anxious deliriums are much more recurrent. He sleeps very little. Something seems to have awakened all painful memories. Private White does not dare to talk about it, but he seems to recognize the figure that stalks him in nightmares. 13 years is a long time to live haunted. The victim is strong. White must have a will of iron. Kept it himself. Must have been hellish. Any yeah. idea who this ghost might be? You may know a soldier by his trail of dead. Could be anyone. Pretty empty armory. I have an idea. Like I think it is. I don't there. think it's an enemy. I think it's a comrade. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, up there. Cool. Needs to find his records. Wait, how did I get up there again? I was on top of that somehow. Oh, here we go. Uh, records, records. There's a lot of stuff. Ain't no records. There they are. Found them. Last morning, I took 12 men and rode out from Portsmouth in search of an attachment from the Plymouth Militia, late arriving after a three-day mission of patrol. A half day's ride north, we came across their remains, only one survivor. As he recounted the details of the Indian ambush their uh, attachment faced, I was impressed by the fortitude of this young private. Andrew White is a promising and devilishly robust soldier and shall join the Massachusetts militia under my command. He shall also be accordingly rewarded for his bravery. A metal trinket to mark a life of sacrifice. Oh, I bet he'd rather be sleep back. Mm, at least he made it home. At least he Not made it home. Not everyone was that fortunate. Aye. And he didn't. Exactly. I'll talk to Andrew. Might perk him up a bit. Let's go hurt more feelings. What the f- Should have had your breakfast, friend. Anyway, greetings. Hi. I'm Antea Duarte. This here is Red McGrath. We're banishers. Now, who are you and what do you want? Are you the ghost haunting Andrew White? Is that a yes or a no? Who are you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? Mute ghosts take forever. This is pointless. We're hunting in the dark with no light and no spur. First, you have to find out what's keeping him from speaking. Andrew won't be much help. But if our friend here can't tell us what he wants, maybe he can show us. (sighs) Do you want us to follow you? I think he wants us to follow him. He left stains. Clever. I'll keep an eye out so we don't lose them. That's good. (sighs) 
This way. Mm. I'm reminded of one of my first cases. The ghost was mute because the person haunted refused to talk. So this one is mute because of Andrea? I don't know. Maybe. Well, well, well. Let's see what we can make out of this. I should have done the objective so that I knew. Oh, so that if I came across it out here, I wouldn't have to... Oh, fine. Ah, uh, where did... Hello? This way? He wants us to follow him. Oh, there you are. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here, we can go on. The ghost haunting Andrew seems weak. Drawing out the torture the better to enjoy it? Or holding itself back, afraid to feed too much? I would think that. Jealous. Don't be. These ones are the worst. Years withering. Decades even. It's an awful way to go. Well, that's not his fault. Also, speaking of awful ways to go. Hello. Go back. Sit down. It was nice knowing your face. Or he's just playing with us. Wait, am I? Am I? Hang on. Yes, I am. I'm close to uh, two of them. The ghost has something to show us. Okay, I'll do your ghost stuff first. Don't lead me too far astray. I feel like I was close to those uh, question marks. Oh. Is it the flower you wanted Spectral to show me? writing on the wall. See for yourself. Ah, uh, oh boy. Oh, oh, you wrote a lot. Joshua. Joshua Gouge, gone too soon. What's it going to say? Joshua Gouge outstayed his welcome. Why would it say that? I never blamed you, my friend. Yeah, it's so a compatriot. Joshua is not here for revenge. You must abide. Our new friend is waiting for us. It, but I'm, I'm doing things. Forgive yourself, mate. You must not give up. Be strong for me. You must live. Courage, my friend. Over here. Wait. Is it not back there? Oh, here we go. I think. Oh, hi. Her punch is stronger than my freaking heavy attack by now. Follow my voice. Dark. Okay. Joshua looks kindly on Andrew. What were they to each other? I think they were compatriots. Brothers in arms, even. Brothers in arms, perhaps. You never feel as close to a mate as when you fight by his side. You fight for the man beside you, not for money, not for a king. For your mate. You have friends from the war. First I've heard of them. They lost contact. Maybe when this is over, I'll look them up. We are very close to these now, and I will not lose them. So, we're gonna go do them. The stain. Most young men are taught to dream of war. And when they get there, they dream of home. They're not busy fighting and dying, that is. Oh, it's Dundee. Hang on. I I'll be right with you, ghost. I just need to clear up some question marks here. Okay. Up there, Red. 
can see it. Oh yeah, probably something up there. Also, come on. There we go, clear the area. What's up there? You're probably gonna come alive at some point. Yeah. Or as alive as you can be. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Mm -hmm. Reveal your true self. I'm standing by. Oh, you're not standing by. You're 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 standing in front, feeling the look at this that. Isn't look over at yet. that. It's red. That's the one who's standing by. Let me know when you're when you're done, my lady. Holy moly! Hello there. Did we miss a few? <laughs> what? Go, punch, punch, punch! Hey, 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 hey! This isn't over yet. Oh, it is soon. Oh, hi. Okay, now you pissed me off. Now you pissed me off. Ow. Could you stand still while I shoot your face? Thank you. I yuck. Piss off. Some nestled. Thank you. I think that was part of what I needed for the other one. And then some bone fragments thingies. Okay, there was one more question mark close by. We'll just go do that. And then we'll be back with you, Mr. Ghost. I haven't forgotten about you. Wait, the stain is fading. Yeah. Well, I'm doing things. Hang on. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Please don't be a void. Because I need to be here. Where's this thing? Is it you? You're not the question mark. You fool me. What's the interest around here? Hello? Oh, it's one button. Oh, it's on the out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's back this way. And then I need to go left, right? Mm, nope. Let's go right, and then it's up there. Oh. Go here. Then... Where are you taking me? You're leading me astray. Stain is fading. Yeah, but the question mark is gaining. Right? Please tell me it's up here. Oh. Fuck. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. Yeah, add it to the list. Of chests that I cannot open. Okay, well, at least we get back on track now. Hup. Mr. Ghost, where did you go? Who was to, ha, did you get it? No? Okay, uh... Am I going the right way or the wrong way right now? I think I'm going the wrong way. So here... Then you stained up this... Then you stained here... Go more stained up here. And then you're gone.
He's leading us somewhere. Oh, really? I see another yellow uh, question mark. Are we close to that? No, that's up here. Okay. Never mind. Down, see we go, see. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Think you could take on a ghost? Okay, worry a little bit. Bastard. Yeah, get out of here. So that's the endless. That's not where we want to go. Well, it is, because he, maybe he's the endless. Maybe that's what he needs forgiveness for. It's becoming an endless uh, thing here. No? Okay. Now we're just going back to the base. Oh, right, 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 right. Voices stay in this place. He left his gun for us. To arms! To arms! They waylay us! The right flank! Hold them off! Josh, behind you! Good dumb bustling code! Help me! An old pistol belonging to Andrew. Yeah, I think he blames himself that his compatriot died. That he wasn't able to save him. Or protect him. Uh... Nice to meet you again, Joshua. I... Oh, there we go. You want us to help Andrew White give up his guilt and get on with his life. Am I right? We know you died fighting by his side. Is that why he feels guilty? Is this why you can't speak? Uh, I'll do what I can to help. I don't want to make any promises. Well, I've been there. I'll do everything I can to help. If help we can. Exactly. Only these two could talk to each other. Mm. Both of them are Andrew bad needs choices. Andrew start talking. As long as he swallows his guilt, nothing will change. There's a wall between these two, and we must knock it down. I may be able to do that. Uh, straight ahead. Andrew failed to save his friend and yep. blames himself for it. Well, guilt is normal. Guilt is normal, but you must let it go. I had claw marks on it. None of this explains what binds the ghost here. I'm not saying that Andrew should feel guilt, but it, it, is, it is normal to feel guilt, and I, I can imagine how you will could end up feeling as if you had any, like, partake in that, even I... though probably you didn't. There we go. That's another one of those. I completely forgot I was doing that too. Just need one more. Which would be probably down here. I'll just take a quick gander. No? Okay. Well, we are getting close to the end of the episode, so I need to go and confront Andrew. Say that it's okay. It's, it, it wasn't your fault. Understand that you blame yourself, but you shouldn't. Hello. It was not your fault. Ah, he's gone. Where did Andrew go? Good day to you. Good day, mate. You Pennington's reinforcements. Red McCraith, the Banisher. 
Sorry to disappoint. Nah, too bad. We could use a fellow like you. <laughs> Theodore Shepard, marksman, and there are none better. Ah, uh, you want to test that? I teach some of the lads here. Perhaps we could show you a thing or two. I shoot well enough, thank you. Mm-hmm. Where did you learn to shoot? Where did you learn to shoot, Mr. Shepard? In the war, mate. King Philip's war? Aye. Joined up soon as I came of age. Trotted off to war against the Indians. Shooting came natural. Once, I shot a man down from full 500 yards. How do you like that? I'm a goddamn Lionheart, I am. Cool. Goodbye. I'll be on my way. And may the way be good to you, mate. Okay. Uh, Andrew? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hi. Good to see you living, sir. Keep it short. I'm on duty. I don't usually bring it up, but I was a soldier too. Thought as much. Where'd you fight? Well, first I fought my way across half the Highlands. Later I'd fight wherever my paymaster sent me. Bavaria, Bohemia, Austria. What's your war story then? We all have one. Excuse me? Uh... Eh? In a tavern in Paris, with three of my comrades, a Turkman stood us drinks and offered us work, fighting for the Ottomans against the Viennese, and the Poles and Prussians and whoever else. And the pay was good. A villa each in Cyprus and slaves all of our own. I said I'd not have slaves and I'd not turn my coat. I will, said my friend Lucas. But I'll free the slaves. Ma shook his hand and wished him well. Nine months later, my band ambushed a Turkish emissary and escort to Venice. I found Lucas by the side of the road. I buried him where he fell. Well, probably wasn't you who shot him, was it? Hard to know, I suppose. But you know what never leaves? The smell. That sickening, coppery vapor rising as a man's life pulls beneath him. For all those brave young boys we send off in search of glory, that stink is their rude awakening. Easier to die with than live with, perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <clears throat> but come. Blood soaks away. Let's not dwell upon the past and men long gone. Yeah, see, that's why I'm here, actually. Ah, uh, funny you should mention that. Ah. Uh, he speaketh not much himself. However, we must converse about this Joshua. You're not like this, but we must speak of Joshua. Leave it be. In the past. Where it belongs. Yeah, but that's the thing Your we want you to do. Is very much present. Your friend Joshua has a message for you. He wants to take revenge. I know it. Ah. Uh. You know wrong. He wants to give you freedom. He never blamed you. You blamed yourself. Why would he not seek revenge? He's due it. He doesn't see it that way. I... I shot him. I was trying to save him and I shot him. Hold on. How did this happen? Ah, oh, you didn't take the shooting lessons? We were skirmishing in the forest. Two Indian fellas bore down on Joshua. Oh. Dropped one, but the other had him cold. I was 20 yards away. I raised my musket. Pull the trigger. Bullet went straight through his skull. Did you admit it later? I mean, no one would have thought the worst of you. A battle like that, well, shite happens. <laughs> shite happens to shite soldiers. I said nothing. I wanted it over. I want it over. I... 
don't want to live. I want to die. Please. Please. Put me out of my misery. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I am duty bound to protect the living from the dead. Sometimes too from themselves. You can't see it now, but you can learn to live with this. Talk about it. Accept it. You come to the point where it stops defining your life and you can set about living in the time you have left. No. You survived. Now you must live. Joshua? Is that you? It cannot be. I, I saw you dead. It is, old friend. I've tried for the longest time to speak to you, but... Your guilt took my voice. You must live in peace. I have done the right. I shot you. I was sure my aim was good, but it was not. I shot you. It was an accident, Andrew. You tried to save me. You failed. But you may make amends. Until you give yourself peace, I cannot have mine. Save me, Andrew. Save me. Give yourself peace and save me. Joshua, you have spoken. Andrew, you've heard. It's time to end the story. Find peace, Joshua. And I hope you can too, Andrew. Joshua Gouge, you've lingered in silence for too long. You can go. I can. Thank you, Banishers. Thank you, Andrew. Time to say goodbye, boys. I'm sorry, my friend. I've carried the weight of your death as far as I can. The debt, if any, is paid. Live your life. Farewell, Joshua. You've done your duty and more. Farewell, old friend. Farewell. Thanks for your help. I'll not forget it. Don't... Th go for the, I, did you... I tried to be like... You, you, you did what you, what, you, what you could and it wasn't intentional. You, an act of love ended up unintentionally with the... Hi, who... The, 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 you're kind of increasing on some... What, what the, hell... Oh, you come, came for your gun. Andrew. Andrew. You tried to save him. It was not your intent to end his life. Blame not yourself. But I do understand it. This is pointless. Well, fuck me. I fucked up another freaking establishment here. This entire fort hates me now. Great. Well, it feels good to be back on track. Uh, <laughs> in the next one, hopefully uh, a little bit better around here. Maybe people won't hate me as much. And then we will... Um... Did I ever do this? Ah, well, we'll get to it once we get to go down here. In the next one, we'll make our way down here. We'll go here. We'll go here. Then we'll go up here. And then we'll go here. And then... Finally, we will be back on uh, the main quest. Um, the reason I am not doing it now is because I promised you to keep this episode shorter than the last one. That's a big whoopsie I made. Speaking of feeling guilt, I feel guilty for making an episode that was five hours long. But it is what it is. <sighs> Can I make amends in the next one? I fucking doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a try for now.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it better than these people like me. And that's gonna be it. All right. I better be out.